Before filming, what I want you to remember to do is to identify the team or the player that you are looking out for by uh, filming a, either a full body shot of them warming up before the game. And this is an example of, of what I'm looking for. You will always be following the ball, even if you're assigned to a player or, or a particular team. But you need to make sure that you're close enough so that I can read the numbers when I go back and edit. Um, but I need you to be not so close where you're losing the ball every time it's thrown. And if you see uh, the player that you are watching out for is getting ready to do something with the ball, you know, make it obvious to me um, that there is number whatever you are watching, and then you can pull back out um, to see what they're getting ready to do. This way, I can, you know, even though I can't read them once you pull back, read their number once you pull back out, I can still track them as long as they are staying in the, 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 you know, within the screen there. So here's an example of, of uh, raw footage uh, shot properly. So here's an example of how I do want it shot as far as the closeness. Now with lacrosse, they're either going to most likely throw the ball to their left or their right, or they will try and throw the ball uh, over the middle if they see an opening. So just try and uh, you know watch the, the player's body language, uh, anticipate uh, where they might be throwing. Your pans need to be quick. You can't have a, a, a slow pans. If anyone scores, please get a close-up of them. This is what I call following the hero for about you know five to ten seconds. This I, I need to. I, uh, I would like to see their number if possible. If they don't turn your way, then that that's fine. On the face-off, I usually like to do a close-up of the two um, facing off. But for if one of the players that you are tracking is one of the uh, the linesmen that line up on either side of the two people that are doing the face-off, as you see in this play case, make sure that you keep that person in the shot um, so I can see them approaching the ball. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you, and have a great shoot.